any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress.
that could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. As big as the Prime Walker Killer. I should be able to take those guys out when they come around the corner of the RV. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. Why don't you guys lag by lag by lag behind just in case this go? Okay. We'll be right behind you. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me, please go. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. 
You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me? I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please! I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No! Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. You sure? Yeah. God bless you, all right? God bless you too. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. How you doing, Glenn? You know. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know. I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Back the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. But that's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. You let her do it, you know. You said give her the gun. I know I did. Why the hell would you do that? Mercy, man. I couldn't let her go on like that. We couldn't. You never know. You can't give up hope. I think it was over for her, Glenn. Try to get some rest. Huh. <laughs> yeah, right. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully.
Alter. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Let's get in there. Oh no. Shit. We gotta hurry. Oh, 
friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. to do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. With the girl from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around.
Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway... I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I thought you needed the help. Ah, that makes sense. But it wasn't a choice like that. It, it was just something I did. I don't know why. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense. But it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh, man. Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter or step on a line once, and so will everyone else. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. 